So we purchased the Aqua Ionizer Deluxe 9.0. Here's the box. We got it about three weeks ago and we decided to do a video to show you what kind of results we're getting. My name is Dave. My wife is filming the video. What we like about this ionizer is it comes with the option which is under the counter and a little spout on the top, a little faucet, so that we can keep the ionizer under the sink and it's not in the way. And we can just turn it on from up here. Now we're looking for three things in an ionizer. We're looking for the alkalinity, which is the pH, to see if it makes acidic or basic water. We're looking for the solubility, to see how soluble the water is. And we're looking for the ORP potential, which is the oxygen reduction potential, which is really very important from fighting free radicals. So right now, what we're gonna do, it's on the third setting for making tea. We'll show you the setting. We'll point the camera underneath so you see where it is. And in my hand, I have a fresh tea bag, and we will show you what's been happening when we make, let the water flow for a little bit, and just allow some of it to go in there. And we'll just leave that for now and see what happens. Now another thing we're looking for is the ORP potential of the water. Right before the video, we made the most acidic water, and it shows you that it's a positive, over a thousand positive. It's a thousand thirteen. So the higher the number, the more acidic the water? The higher the number, the more acidic it is. We're looking for negative numbers if it's basic water and also for the ORP potential. If it's a negative, then that's what we want. The higher the negative value, the higher the ORP potential. So we're going to see what happens when we get a glass. Right now it's on the third setting. It's positive. And it's going down quite a bit. Now, going down to negative two, negative 160, negative 163, 160. And it's going to be around 145 with negative. All right, now let's say what happens. We change it to the second setting. So it's the daily drinking water, though. This is where we would be drinking from the second setting. I just dumped out the other water that was in there. You only need a little bit for the ORP meter, by the way, because it's just enough for the probe to go in. Right now it's on negative, I'm sorry, positive 800 from the acidic water. And you can see that it's going down to a negative 105, 100. It's going to be less because it's actually a lower setting, so it should be less. If you stir it, it goes up and then it comes back down, it goes all the way up, but it's still negative, which is what we're looking for. Okay. You see, now let's see what happens in the highest basic setting. We'll let it flow for eight seconds just to get it through the machine. So, this is for cooking. Cleaning your vegetables. Cleaning vegetables. I recommend that you soak your vegetables, your tomatoes, in 11.0 water. It takes the chemicals and the pesticides off of the water. That's a whole other test I could show you. Then we have pictures of tomatoes, grape tomatoes, sitting in water that's very basic. Now this machine claims it can make up to negative 840. And you can see that negative reading. Extremely negative. Wow, look at that. Negative. 839 negative 840 wow we just maxed it out that's awesome now mind you that this is doing this these negative readings without any chemicals no sodium hypochlorate no added chemicals this machine does it all by itself how many plates does it have this has nine plates 
I put it back down to the second setting so we can teach the pH of the water. We'll show you that it's back on the second setting. The second basic setting. And there are four settings for the higher pH values. So that's what um, daily drinking. So that's what we would. So we'll show you what this looks like as far as pH. We'll put a couple of drops. Wow. And what this is telling me is, is that this water, when you shake it up, is very purple or blue. And if you look at the chart, this means that it's, this purple would mean that it's pretty, about 9.5 or 10, which is great for drinking. Now, we just showed you the pH of the water just showed you the ORP value of the water. Look at that, still ne negative 845. And let's see what happened with that tea bag that we started off with today. This tea bag, this rose colored tea, means that the water is very soluble. What does that mean, soluble? The water is very broken up into small molecules, much smaller clusters in the average drinking water. So the ionizer actually breaks it down into smaller size. And that means that the water is so soluble that it's actually making tea with cold water. You don't even have to boil the water. So it's easy to it's easily absorbed in It's the easily time. absorbed in your body. That means when you mm -hmm. drink this water, it's very healthy for us. So you see the solubility, the pH value, and the ORP potential. We are very happy with this machine so far. It's a fantastic machine. It's very reasonably priced. There are machines that cost four times as much and use chemicals. And we researched, found a lot of machines that cost more money. I want to say negative things. But this machine, from what we see and what we're doing and what we just showed you, it doesn't lie. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please go to the link if you want to find out more on pricing.